ang iyong uh, experience sa kabutihan ng Diyos sa iyong buhay at ang inyong karanasan dito sa ating uh, First Deacons and Deaconess Convention. Mr. Brenda? Thank you po, Pastor. Allow me to invade your privacy to go back beyond 1969. Imaginein po nyo, isang grade 1 na babae po na ang kanyang nanay, ang kanyang teacher, na nagturo sa kanya na kusino si Jesus, ay nagturo din sa kanya ng letrang ABC. Ang babae pong ito ay naglilinis ng simbahan, pinupunasan ng mga imahe. Ang mukha ni Mama Mary, pinupunasan niya, nilalagyan niya ng bulaklak, araw at gabi sinisindahan niya. Imaginein po ninyo. Imaginein po niyo yung grade 1 teacher na yung grade 1 na babae na yon ay gabi-gabi pong iniilawan ang isang bahay-sambahan na punong-puno ng mga imahe mula maliit hanggang malaki, mula puti hanggang itim. See? Imaginein din po nyo na ang babaeng yon, after how many years, she seeks a better relationship with Jesus. And by that time, she grown up to a beautiful lady. Mm -hmm. Siya po ay naghanap ng Bible study. God gave way but by making this beautiful lady, because we are children of God, as per Madam, who is now the women's ministry head, we are so beautiful because we are uh, beautifully uh, copied in the image of God. Okay. Nag-Bible study po yung babaeng yon, naging born again, muntik na po siyang naging born again. No magkasakit po yung babaeng yon, yung tatay po niya is na-stroke. Ang tatay niya po niya because of depression, na Catholic po, po siya. By the way, that beautiful lady is a Catholic. Yung tatay po niya na stroke, na depressed, nag-join ng saksi ni Jehovah. So because that beautiful lady loves his father so much, that beautiful lady nag-saksi ni Jehovah po siya. Hindi po siya isang pirma na lang po magpapabinyag na siya ng saksi ni Jehovah. But God's grace, hindi po natuloy kasi po ayaw ng Panginoon. You see, anything under the sun is under the control of God. Okay, back to born again. Ang babae pong yun ay nabinyagan as born again. Yet, it is not the plan of God. That lady will be baptized as born again. And that lady, nag-asawa na po siya. Nagtuturo po siya hanggang siya po ay makatapos ng katikista, a Roman Catholic catechist. Tinuturoan po niya ang mga anak niya, nagturo siya sa mga simbahan, sa eskwela, proclaiming the good news of God via the umbrella of the Catholic Church. But seven years ago, lady, my, my dear brothers and sisters, seven years ago, this beautiful lady is now in front of you. Is now an SDA. And now I'm standing and promoting the word of God, that God I am now serving is the living God of Israel, of the SDA people, of the Adventist people rather. I am not serving now a God which is nailed in that cross. I am now free. You see, I am now free. It took me a half of my life serving a stone God because of my, or because of God's will. Now I am in front of you talking the goodness of the Lord. And now, ako po ay isa sa mga Japonesa. And to tell you frankly and honestly and proudly, I am elected as the president of the first deacons and deaconess of, the, of this uh, spiritual convention. Not because of I want to uh, elate myself, but because it is all the workings of the Holy Spirit. The work of the God I am serving, because now I am serving a God who is alive, and that his words, he is true and is not a stone God. Ako po ay, ang sabi po ni Pastor, liitan ko lang po, minimize. But my heart is so, uh, what he call this, so joyful enough na hindi ko po kayang sabihin sa isang may kling salita lang ang ginawa sa atin ng aking Panginoon. So, the impact of this first Deacons and Deaconess, Pastor Andoy, is so very, what we call this, uh, a big impact to me, not only in my life, but, because, but through my families. 
to the, to the members of the families who are not yet SDA, especially my husband, who persecuted me for five years. Imagine, kapatid, I am not persecuted. I was not persecuted in front of you people or the Catholic Church, but I was persecuted inside my home. Ano po kaya ang mangyayari sa inyo pag ang asawa nyo at ang mga anak nyo ay pinapersecute kayo? Napakahirap po para sa akin noon. But because of God's grace, here I am now, my dear, my dear ladies and gentlemen, my dear brothers and sisters, proclaiming that God is a merciful God. And that half of my life na matitira po is dedicated to be serving as deacons, the living God. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Palakpakan po natin ang ating Panginoon sa ginawa ng Diyos sa buhay ni Sister uh, Brenda. Ngayon naman mga kapatid, uh, isang diakonesa mula sa South Central.